was a mistake. I am offering this disclaimer to remind you this video series is not meant for children. Hello everyone, good morning, good evening, whatever you may be. My name is Endub, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I have a free fall in uh, Ross 371 uh, is done, but, well, it just seems a never-ending process of putting out spot fires, because now Hutton influence has dropped significantly in the Kokeri system. It uh, is very reminiscent of Hill Pass C, however, in this case, I do know we do not have any operations in Kokeri going on. Right? Well, none that I am aware of. I suppose I should check the standing orders on that. Discord, Hutton Orbital, uh, Hot Mess, Chris Chat, Axwing, there we go. Update Pleiades, uh, AXCZs have been cleared. Malthus Terminal, whatever. Nothing important there. And I'm not seeing anything regarding cookery. Do we have any ongoing operations in Kokari? Just noticed our influence is dropping there. Hello, uh, Wedding Barge. Congratulations, the whole happy family is there. And pop into Gitzenko Terminal to see just what all is available for work in the Hutton space. As I've been trying to say at the start of most episodes now, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, click that little bell for notifications, and uh, smarter minds than I are not 100% sure what all any of that actually does, just that it uh, feeds the YouTube algorithm, and I am at a perpetual war and crusade against it. Hey, I remembered to ask for landing permission this time. I'm in Ring. Aren't I? Maybe. I don't know. Landing pad 05 is right there. Mm. I just popped a cooling pad. There. Let's English a bit better now, I hope. Touchdown confirmed. Clear to disembark. Why am I in that? Well, whatever. Restock, refuel, and check the missions available. Um, deliver three tons of domestic appliances. I can totally do that to Epsilon Indy with the possibility of hostile ships chasing after me. Interesting. And very close to the main star. I think I will. Three tons. Let's see, what else do you have available? Oh, I'm not gonna move... Not gonna move that much. Not gonna move... Hmm. Industry needs two thousand tons of tea. I could do that over the course of a uh, over the course of a couple of days, I suppose. It'd be fairly easy, well, especially if I bring the big ships in. Although there's not a huge amount of influence on this, it'd be purely for the money. Uh, black box salvage. I think I might do that as well. 
Hostile ships may be sent against me. That's very nice as well. 2,000 tons of tea, though. Hmm, assassinate a known pirate, Mr. Kim Walker. Yes. Yes, indeed. Hostile ships. Mission rank deadly. Exceeds your current rank, master. Hmm. Hmm. And an illegal black box salvage operation in Tufa. I think I'll pick that one up as well. And clean out Trinity Services, uh, Sentry Skimmers. How many are we talking? Only 12. Interesting. These actions are considered illegal in most systems. That's fun. Uh, pirate Massacre. Only two pirates. Interesting. I think I'll pick that one up as well, just because it's a uh, straightforward, relatively new. Anyway. Let's get these uh, three tons of uh, domestic appliances delivered, and we'll see which way we go from there. Hmm. I got to thinking I should get rid of the turreted lasers just because my playstyle has shifted so much that I don't use them. I mean, I'll still use pack arms for sure. But I was absolutely frustrated in yesterday's episode when I tried to use those, uh, <laughs> use my lasers. I'm like, what are they doing? Oh, they're being, they're turreted now. Why does that keep reset? That is my question. I thought I adjusted that after I made that to, after I took off back to the station. But apparently not, or apparently it keeps resetting. I'm not 100% sure which that is. That is also a question not neither here nor now. I suppose. Hmm. What else can we use the sensor pylons for? That is a good question. Obviously, sensing that is the that is obviously the manufacturer's recommended use of the sensor pylons on the crate mark two the question is what else can we use them for so we have shish kebabs uh, barbecue bar barbecue skewer skewers and density testing of the landing pad density testing of cargo canisters or well uh, cargo canister destruction ship skewering Did the sensing already, so there's that. Um, tearing through the fabric of reality, I suppose. No, no, that's what the FSD is for. Hmm. I suppose you could pick up Lave Radio on them. Although we're a few systems outside the broadcast radius of that. How far is it to lave anyway? Hm, it's fairly far actually. A lot further than I thought, to be fair. Shiny. 
Well, at least I have these two, and then that one for the cops to chase after me, and then that one. Obviously, I'm going to save the piracy for last, I suppose. Well, not piracy per se, I'm just recovering some ill-gotten goods. Ooh, I should get a limpet controller and some limpets, though. That will, that will make things so much faster. Uh, let's not slam into the Starcon Tower. <laughs> I said not to, and that's exactly what I did mere moments later. That is going into the intro. For sure. Does exactly what he says not to. Brilliant. Three tons of domestic uh, appliances. Three tons of domestic appliances being delivered from Hutton to Hutton with uh, no major influence option. Well, whatever. Ooh, if I have stuff to take back though. BR if I see him, BR if I see him. 180 tons of tobacco. And uh, nothing going back to Kakeri. Okay. Let's do a quick change, get in the limpet controller, and maybe swap out those uh, turreted weapons, because that honestly threw me through a loop yesterday. I'm like, why are my weapons not working right? Although I think I've already said this. need to make a decision as to yeah they're unmodified but I'm going to store them yep wrong button there are shop beam lasers cannon ah never mind not going to And optional internal. Uh, shop. We have hatchbreaker limpets, fuel scoops, flight assist, FSD. And, uh, no. I guess I'm gonna have to scoop those manually then. And let's deal with Major Kim Walker first, I suppose. G ninety-nine forty-nine pilots. I'm going to lung straight for the lungs. Go for the throat. That was a mistake. <laughs> and it worked out beautifully. Except for the fact that I think I skimmed some of the paint off the top. I'm not 100% sure. I heard my... I actually did hear my shields flare just a little bit. Not enough to get a fine though. I'll take that button. And I take that back. That's going into the intro. <laughs> no back talk about the boosting inside the station. Okay.
I can only imagine what Starcom was was doing when they saw that. They're like, what is this idiot doing? We're gonna have to scrape this guy off the interior of the station, aren't we? And I believe I saw it. And there it is. What are we looking at for a threat? Only threat one. Okay. This guy is a small time pirate, it seems. Very small. Hello, cruise ship. Yeah, the numbers are not inverse, thank god. Threat one, threat zero being the worst, and threat six being the simplest. That'd be. That'd be horrible, actually. I could have sworn I scanned this system at one point. Oh well. Hello? Wait. What? Alrighty then. Mr. Wade Gill. Roger that. Initiating SLS deployment. Systems online. Ready for action. Okay, come on. So much drift! And he's just taking it. Wow, very small time. I don't didn't even need the launch the fighter. Oh, I just love these. Oh, uh, you can return. I didn't even, he didn't even get to do anything. I was already done by the time he'd got the fighter turned around. Alrighty then. Safe and sound. That was horribly one-sided. Absolutely horribly one sided. <laughs> wow. I actually feel a little bad. A little. I mean, a ship lasted a lot longer than I expected. Oh, oh wait, you're a person. I'm not messing with you. What about you? You are not a pirate. I'm gonna scan you though. Hello, Mr. Meat Blender. That's a hell of a name. What's this eagle doing? Who are you, my friend? It's probably a Federal Security Service ship.
Yeah, Federal Security Service, and he's uh, in Wing Lodge. That's another eagle, though. Mr. Bren Land is a mission target. And he's wanted. Probably would have pulled him out of, out of Super Cruise anyway. Even if he wasn't a mission target, but if he was wanted. For sure. I didn't even get a target lock on him. Alrighty then. Bye bye now. At this point, I don't even know which moment I'm going to use for my intro because they've all been good. And it's already been a full 20 minutes, wow. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that little bell for notifications. And uh, hopefully, I will see you all in the next video.